Well, we're in Broxer, North Yorkshire now, and we're going to walk up into Whis Whisperdale and then reach the bank top, and it's around, is this? So we're going to head forward and then turn the next right just past the farm. We've got a little cat here coming to see us. So we've just walked to the end of the village about another 100 yards and uh, we're turning first right and we're heading towards Lowdale's farm now and then we're going to pick up the track for Whisperdale. So just walk to the end of the track and you'll see a stile in front of you but we're turning left where it says no vehicle access. With the heavy rain it's a bit of a muddy start for the first 50 yards but it soon clears and you're onto a good solid standing uh, track here now. So head forward. After three or four hundred yards, the track starts going pretty steep downhill to your left. As you're going down here, there's three or four different types of fungus all on the all on the same type of wood that's been chopped down here. As the seasons change, we like to try and show you what's happening in the countryside and this is a no another different type of fungus here. We've been steadily walking downhill and we're in a, obviously a broadleaf wood here and we've already seen some deer prints so we're keeping a look out for them. We're still heading forward. It's the 5th of October today and uh, you can see the deep trench marks that the heavy rain has made over the weekend. As you can see the water, we've, we've attempted to walk this but the water is a bit deep there as you can see with that car. So if we look to the right there's a little bridge there we're going to take that and come out at Lowdale so we miss the water on the road. But if it was a dry day we'd go up the road because they both join at Lowdale's. We're just on the inside of the field and that's where we're heading. It's only a few hundred yards in front of us and then we're going to pick the path up for Whisperdale then. We've dropped back onto the road and you can see the becks overflowed with the heavy rain over the weekend. But we turn right and then we uh, walk in the hundred yards over the bridge and then You can see the arrow there, look. Just to let you see how much water there is. And then we're into Whisperdale now. And we'll just give you a quick look. We're keeping very quiet though, because we are in Whisperdale. We'd just like to show you this ring of fungus round the base of this tree. We think that is absolutely fantastic. Just keep heading forward and you'll see like two wheelings off of the tractors. And we just take the left fork through the gap in the hedge. You're walking with a taxi drive today. When you get to the end of the field, it's well signposted with a blue arrow. And just head straight forward. We just keep heading along the track towards Reister Hill top. It's steadily going up. We're starting to climb up now uh, pretty fast and we'll soon be into the into Broxer Forest properly now. We've just come across this gigantic cluster of these uh, toadstools, some an earlier foot across, and we just thought we'd show you. We've got some more here, they're probably at the best, so you're just going past it now, another week they'll have gone. We're heading up into the forest now. And here we have another different type of fungus here, it's like growing off the roots underneath the overhang. And here we are, we're inside a... Uh, a wood ant colony. It's certainly busy today. And after having a steady climb up, we've come out on the top and uh, we're looking at all the changes of the leaves as, 
as autumn starts. We're in Broxa Forest near Scarborough now and uh, we thought we'd have a day fungus hunting today and here's another sort. You come out the top of the wood and then you turn left there's a sign on the bridle way telling you but we're just gonna walk for it a hundred yards and take a look at the view before we turn left. And then at Ward Hill we're gonna turn left and go back down Highdales towards Broxa. We'll be back to you and we'll just give you a quick view at Reesty Bank Top and just at the side of me there is a chair uh, you know a seat so it's a good spot for a picnic if you want and there's a car park so you can come up here in your car and start a walk from here if you want There we are, that's a quick view and we're going to head back to where we said now. So we've had a quick look at Reesty Bank Top, made our way back to where I said the bridle way is and we're turning left. Or oh, from where I'm stood it'll be right. And these are only little tiny ones, if you look at the leaves they're not much bigger. And we've a couple more here, they're getting a bit wizened but you know, they're different. And again, and you can see there how half of it's fresh and half of it's fading. I think another week with the damp conditions, I think a lot of these will uh, they'll turn to mush. I can't believe on a damp October day here I've got a Red Admiral. It looks like there's some food being chucked away here. You know there's tomatoes and all sorts and bits of bread and everything. But there's your Red Admiral, look at that. See he's feeding on the food. Red Admiral, Janice, quick, before he flies. Somebody's chucked food away here, look, can you see it? And he's having his dinner, let me see. Normally you won't get this close, it's just cold, isn't it? We're just heading along the top and we've got great views on the right hand side through the trees. And we found a gap in the trees. And though we thought we'd give you another look at this. Fantastic North Yorkshire countryside just near Scarborough. When you see that metal gate on your right just stop on the track and eventually this will lead you towards Highdale's farm. Just keep heading forward now slightly going downhill. Keep walking you'll come to a bit of a dip if you look on your right hand side you'll see a path. Walk slightly out the dip walking forward and then on your left hand side you'll see your arrow and it's right next door to a a big tree there look, we turn left and we're heading towards Highdale's farm going pretty steep downhill now. And just on the track as we're going down we've spotted a owl pellet and because of the heavy rain you can see it's broke it down a bit and you can see the tiny little bones and stuff like that. We've just walked by the owl pellet, dropped down about another hundred feet and look at this, this is the young toadstool here, that's the young one, look at that right. And then just below it you can see the one that's fully opened and starting to decay. And there's a hole right through the middle, you can see where the slugs have been having the dinner. And we've got other mushrooms here in all different stages of decay. There's that much fungus here, it's almost like a, a little fairy grotto. It really is. But I'd like to say with this shot here, all our patients today looking for, you know, fungus, because it's the time of year, has been well re rewarded. Look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. Another week, these will have gone. All, you know, spoiled. We're spoiled for choice today. There's that many of these. We think they're red caps, but we're not sure. As you're walking down the hill, about two or three hundred yards from where you turned off, you'll see a wide open space like that, it's only about 100 foot by 100 foot and just in front of there, so we walk forward now about 30 or 40 yards and show you, so when you get to that wide bit just pay attention. Right sir, so if you look to the left and it drops pretty sharp downhill you'll see a little plastic bag on your left hand side, that's the way we're going to go straight down but there's no sign on here. If you kept going straight forward on the path you would come out on a track at the end but we're turning left. A walk forward about 50 yards on your left hand side there's quite a steep drop. In front of you you'll see a rock in the middle. If you see that you know you're on the right path look. 
There we are, just keep going down now, and this takes us to Ward's Highdale's farm. You walk down a few hundred yards, drop off the track, and you can see the style there, look. And then... We walk forward, and then head towards the left hand side, I'll go past the left hand side of Highdale's farm, look in the distance. I'd just like to point out one more thing. You see these little posts, these are the posts for the pheasant shooting. You know, if you come here and you hear gun, gunshots and there's a shoot on, avoid it and go round, there's plenty of paths. You know, let's keep everybody happy. Just in front of that farm now, can you see that squirrel? There he is, look, there he is, we're just in front of the farm. There he is. He's gone. So we've crossed over the little stream. We've come down the side of the farm there. We turn immediate right over the cattle grid in the front of the house. The house, the, on the side of the house it says Newgate Farm, but ignore that. Just ignore it. Just go over the cattle grid and then you turn left. We'll be back to you. So here we are, look, we're in front of the house and the farmyard. And then I'm going to turn round, face forward and go in through the gate and we'll give you a shot of that. We've just got our back to the house and the farm now. We're going to go straight forward through the gate so that we've got the little stream on your left hand side. And again, you're walking right on the path where they do the shooting in season. So, you know, use a bit of common sense. If they're shooting, don't go on this path. We're heading forward. I'm just going to keep giving you a few quick shots down here till we pick an arrow up again. Keep heading forward. Surprise, surprise, we've suddenly picked an arrow up again. Somebody's been playing silly beggars back there. If you look on your left hand side, over the stream, you'll see a house. And that's another walk on the road. But just keep heading forward, you've picked the arrow back up. Right, so we kept walking forward, we kept the stream on our left hand side. And eventually you cross over the stream in a little field. Come out into the field, you see a wood in front of you. Turn right slightly uphill towards the wood, you'll see the arrow. And then we turn left then, and that takes us back to Broxer. I've just decided to turn round just before I go in the wood and give you a quick look. And we've come through that gap there of the little stream and we've headed uphill now. Right, we're heading through the wood. If you look at the path, it's not that well worn, but it's certainly there, look. And you're slightly going uphill and round. We're not that far from Broxer now. We're starting to climb pretty fast now, but we'll soon be end at wood and then we'll drop down into Broxer. And there you are, we're just going to cross over the stile and we're going to take the right hand and head uphill. So just go over the stile, turn right, head forward, and you'll see a big tree at the end of a shed nearly. Over there and we're back in Broxer then. We're back in Broxer now. I hope you've enjoyed our walk in North Yorkshire. You've been walking with a taxi drive today. And um, we're just going to call in at Agnes Granger Tell now for a, for a beer, you know. Non-residents are welcome.